college football team? Oh, I'm a Big Ten guy. Uh, so I was a, a big uh, Purdue Boilermaker fan. Purdue Boilermakers. Up. I don't know uh, what their prospects are this year. We'll find out soon enough. Yes, I might be the only one. No, well, my, my dad went there. My mom went to Indiana. And so, every, yeah, Big Ten guy. Oh, got it, got <laughs> it. All right, well, uh, we're talking uh, weather here, and around here it should be pretty nice. Oh, it's so nice outside right now. It's this blue sky, perfect condition, so I'm happy for the news hounds. They're running in some nice weather. We get into this afternoon. Uh, it warms up a little bit. We're going to see those temperatures into the 80s, but look at lunchtime temperatures. 68 degrees in Portland, uh, just a Beautiful, uh, wispy cirrus clouds right there. We have Mount Hood right here is where everyone started this morning up on Timberline where temperatures were in the 40s. Now at 60 degrees and where everyone's going to be wrapping it up in Seaside right now. 63 degrees. That's going to be Saturday when everyone kind of finishes there off along the coast. It's going to be a nice day uh, come tomorrow too. But all of us across the state is looking really good. Same with Washington. Today we top off right around 81 degrees. We get into the afternoon sunshine across the board from the coast all the way to Baker City and even further east than that. Uh, it's going to be a comfortable day, but as we head into the weekend, things do crank up just a little bit. Uh, so for all the runners that are going to be sliding through Portland this afternoon, you'll probably see them. Temperature is going to be right around 81 degrees. Again, very comfortable for them. When they're wrapping it up in Seaside tomorrow, just uh, relax and enjoy their run. Uh, at least the conclusion to the run. Temperature is going to be right around 72 degrees. Very calm conditions. We have clouds and a little bit of precipitation to the north of us. We're right in the sweet spot here with the jet stream kind of uh, keeping us nice and clear. We still have Hurricane Harvey now, Category 3 hurricane here uh, in Texas, and it is slowly starting to make its way towards the coast. It's already bringing in some showers, tornado watches now, so there's some rotation in some of those storms, and it's really going to bring in a lot of precipitation. Something to make it more local, uh, to kind of think about this, throughout the whole weekend with this hurricane, it could pot uh, possibly drop about 30 inches of rain our yearly average in Portland is about 36 inches. So in the span of maybe 48 hours, they might reach what we see in a full year. So definitely a dangerous situation going on there in Texas. For us, our weekend is looking very pleasant along the valley. We're going to see those temperatures in the 90s, about 90 degrees Saturday and Sunday. So it does get pretty hot, but it's going to be nice and sunny out there. The coast, really comfortable, 65 to 70, maybe a little bit warmer than that. So if you want, maybe make your weekend plans for the coast because it's going to be a really comfortable out there. And through the gorge, sunny and a little breezy temperatures right around the lower to mid 90s. As we go through our weekend, we're going to see the warmer air aloft move on in uh, probably till about Tuesday before we start to see some cooler air from the Pacific Northwest start to slide on in. Uh, until then, we're just going to be dealing with that summer heat likely to start off the first week of school. All right, so if you want, you can reach out to me on social media. We have the Pet Walk forecast. Go ahead and send some photos in. If you have any questions about Hurricane Harvey or the Pacific Northwest, you can also toss me an email too. Here's your seven-day forecast. Real good. Uh, 89 degrees on Saturday, 93 on Sunday, 94 on Monday. So that's the heat I was talking about that's going to slide in over the next couple of days. As for now, Friday is perfect if you have plans. Tonight, uh, 81 degrees. I know you're going to go golfing maybe later today, and it's going to be yep. uh, beautiful out there for that. Yeah, perfect golf weather. You know, we were talking earlier about the 2005 hurricane yeah. season, and uh, we mentioned Wilma. That was the latest in the year. Yeah. But uh, that was a rough year for hurricanes. Uh, Katrina and Wilma mm -hmm. were in 2005. Yep, Wilma was in October. Katrina was in August, so just a couple months before that. So you're right. Yeah, 2005, vicious year for hurricanes. And now we're talking about Harvey being yeah. almost as strong. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Joseph. We'll be right back with a look at the stories coming up at four.